Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode, and today I'm not going to be taking a look at this, but I am going to be taking a look at another reproduction from PC Engine Works. These are the folks that brought you this quite nice set of reproductions for the following games. Bonk's Big Adventure, Dungeon Explorer 2, Godzilla, and the Dynastic Hero. But, they didn't just make this, they also made what I showed you guys in the last video, which was the reproduction of Dracula X and this cute mini game, which is uh, Force Gear. But today we're going to be taking a look at something really unique and really special, which is the reproduction of these two bad boys right here, which is Beyond Shadowgate and Might and Magic 3. So, to start, we're going to clear a little bit of space here. And the one thing I want to show you guys right off the bat is just the sheer size of these cases. For those old enough, you may remember these cases. They were typically associated with VHS movies. Typically, Disney films would use these giant box cases. And I think it's really unique. I'm going to come on in here and show you guys. They really did a, uh, a good job with this new series, this deluxe series. The deluxe edition. Very, very nice stuff. And I'll show you. Same here with Beyond Shadowgate. These are extremely expensive games because they were released quite late in the uh, Turbo's lifetime. You can find them, but uh, they go for usually multiple hundreds of dollars. It's not rare to see, especially like Beyond Shadowgate. Well, no, both of them actually, to go up to like $500 or something by the lovely collectards out there who are willing to pay anything to get these games. So reproductions are nice. Uh, I've done vlogs talking all about, you know, some of the negative aspects of reproductions, but I don't want to. I don't want to touch base on that now. You can go ahead and watch that video if you're interested later on. So these are the contents. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one, and we're gonna do one at a time. So we're gonna start with Beyond Shadowgate. They put a nice little bubble wrap thing in here just to protect the contents, and it's pretty cool what you get. So to start, what is this? Character art. Reimagine. Okay, so you see, I like that. See what it says right there? It's character art reimagined by the person's name. So credit is, is indeed being given here to the people, or person rather, who did this awesome artwork. Because that's one of the things I've mentioned in the past that with reproduction, sometimes there's no... No credit given to the person uh, who actually did the work. Alright, now this is pretty cool. Do you remember this, guys, from back in the day? When you'd get a giant... Dun, dun, dun. Poster. Do you remember those days when you'd get a giant poster with your games that you could put up on your wall? Well... I think that's pretty damn cool that they include something like this. I really miss those days where I would frame this and have this on my wall. I would love something like this. And I'm probably going to do that if I uh, can ever get myself a house with a game room. That is really, really cool. So that's essentially the goodies that you get. And then, of course, you get the, the game itself which is clearly a reproduction. It says PC Engine Memories all over the damn thing. So it's really, you know, it's clear. And I'm not going to open these ones. Uh, it's because I didn't bring a knife with me. I didn't think that far ahead. But I may be able to get it with my nails. So let's see. Because it would be nice to show you guys the insides of this, and also for myself. Alright. There we go. I managed to do it. 
All right, we'll just take the spine card off. Pretty neat. And then, of course, so here we go. This is it. This was, uh, I only played this once or twice many, many years ago. A uh, very, very hard to come by game because it was released extremely late in the system's life. Alright, so what do we got? Is this, okay, so this is thick stock paper. I mean, there's no doubt that this is not an original. And then we go ahead and we get the little instruction manual. Which I always think is awesome. And this is what I hate about gaming today. Is just, you pay so much money and you get nothing. You don't even get the game. It just downloads onto your system. It's crazy. And there you go, guys. So that's Beyond Shadowgate. And instead of, you know, spending time doing this all on camera, let's uh, simply remove this one. And we'll go ahead and take a look at Might and Magic 3. Alright, here we go. Might and Magic 3. Let's open it up and see what you get in this one. Now this is a bundle, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think you can order these individually, but I might be wrong. Alright, Might and Magic 3 Mystic Whispers. What's this say? Contains secret passwords only open when in desperate need. Can we take a peek inside? <laughs> Alright, and then we've got the Table of Wisdom. And what the hell is this? Oh, it's telling you all the different powers and stats and things like that for different weapons, and, and it's one of these, okay. So it opens up like that. And like that. Very cool. And then I believe we're going to have a smaller poster and that would explain why it includes a little less than the other one. I mean the other one included a little bit less than this one. It's a little slightly smaller poster. And then you get a world map. Very, very cool. I like that. I really do like that. It's funny, reproductions today include more than the actual games themselves. The new games. Taking this off camera again just to see if I can do what I did with the last one and try and get it open without uh, ripping my face off. So, yet again, I'm going to remove the uh, little spine card. Might and Magic 3. Put this off just so you guys can see here. Isle of Terra. Very cool. This is one I have not played at all, ever. So this is, okay, so this is just the instruction manual. They don't have that, uh, that stock paper. Oh, much thicker instruction manual though. Of course, full color. Wouldn't have it any other way. Very, very cool. Game looks really interesting, this one. I, I was watching a video the other day on it, and uh, I'm really looking forward to jumping into this one. So there you go, guys. This is, uh, that's pretty much it. Once again, I'm going to just take this all off camera. So that was just a very quick look at both Might and Magic 3 and Beyond Shadowgate. And I will be having a review of these games in the not too distant future for those uh, interested. And if you are looking to pick up either of these, I will put a link in the description below to PC Engine Works website and you can go ahead and order yourselves a copy. Very, very impressive stuff as always. I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.